Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're talking about 10 video gear items under $50. We've already done one of these videos for gear under $20, so you can check that out. And this video is not sponsored. However, it is supported by those who purchase my camera guys and LUTs, which you can learn about down in the description if interested. So let's dive in with our first gear item, which is actually an RGB LED light that costs around $40. This is from VGym, I believe is how it's pronounced. And it looks very similar to the Aperture MC, although it is not quite as bright. The light has several different modes, including a CCT mode. So currently I have the light set to 5600 Kelvin. There's also an HSI mode, so you can dial in the hue, saturation, and intensity independently. And the light has several built-in effects that you could cycle through, depending on what you're looking for. And the battery life is phenomenal on this. I'm at three hours and I still have two bars left at full HSI output. So not a bad option if you're looking for a small RGB light but don't quite have the funds for something like an Aperture MC. Next on the list, we have a super cool device that I learned about from someone on our Discord group. So if you purchase one of my camera guides, you gain access to the Discord group. Lots of amazing people there. So thank you guys so much for sharing this with me. And essentially, it's a small XLR to XLR box that supplies phantom power and is USB rechargeable. This means you can take any phantom powered microphone, put this little device on the back of it or use an XLR cable to adapt to it, turn it on, there's your battery level indicator for how much juice this thing has left. And now I can plug this into really anything, a recorder, a camera, and I don't have to have phantom power. I've even taken little XLR to 3.5 millimeter adapters, connected that, and now I can take something like a Rode Wireless Go transmitter and record on the Rode Wireless Go transmitter as well as on my camera. And this setup is just ridiculous. So this is a great solution. If you need phantom power, but don't have it on your camera or your recorder or other devices, and you can turn just about any phantom powered microphone into a wireless one using this device. Our next item under $50 is one of my favorite light stands of all time. It's very simple, but it does a couple things that not all stands do. It packs down to something reasonably small and it has a maximum height of just under eight feet. The stand is air cushioned, so if you accidentally loosen it, it's not going to come crashing down. And the favorite feature for me at least is the removable spigots on the top of the light. So you can simply thread this onto a light, throw the whole light onto the stand very quickly, or you can mount it to the side of the stand mount, giving you a lot of flexibility, especially with something like an LED tube. And of course you can completely remove the spigot and add other gear like grip arms, methylene clamps, all kinds of stuff. And the build quality is great. So I have several of these and I use them every single day. Next up, we have double and triple baby headers. What are these things? Well, it's a device that you add to a stand and it gives you two or more stands or a attachment points for your gear. These are great if you need just a bunch of lights or other gear mounted to a single stand. Another cool way to use them is add a light to one end and a modifier or bounce board to the other. Just endless possibilities with these. You really can't go wrong. And trust me, if you have one of these in your kit, you're probably going to end up using it. Next on our list is a microphone, specifically the Deity D4 Mini. I've done a review on this microphone and for $50, it is phenomenal. It's super compact, sounds great, and has a really, really cool feature. On the side of the microphone, there is an input jack, so you can connect another microphone like a lav or a second shotgun or a wireless receiver then send the output to your camera and the microphone will keep those channels separate for you. So you're kind of getting a microphone as well as a tiny mixer built into one little device. So it's a great microphone if you're looking for something to throw on your camera or on the end of a boom pole. Our next thing under $50 is this camera bag that I recently have picked up and have been enjoying. And it's a really nice bag, comes in several different colors. My favorite thing about it is not only that it's a messenger bag, which I'm always a fan of, but you have a included little divider and padded box or frame that is removable. So if you just wanna take your camera out and a couple lenses, shoot for a day, or just load this thing up with clothes and whatever else you might need to travel with, you're able to completely customize the bag however you want. There's also a zipper bag inside of that main compartment, a medium-sized storage area at the front of the bag with its own zipper, and storage on the left and right for bottles and other gear. 
The bag is very comfortable, feels really sturdy, and I think it's a great looking bag for around $50. And again, I love bags that can do more than just be a camera bag. Our next gear item is another stand, but this is unlike any stand I've ever used. You can see that it packs down to almost nothing. I believe this is about 14 inches, and there is a push button on the bottom to extend the legs, and then the head itself can be extended up to around five feet, I believe which is just nuts. And when you're done, you can tighten the end of the stand to lock everything in place. When it comes time to pack the stand down again, you just loosen to the left and the whole thing keeps collapsing down to something that is just minuscule, as you can see here. Another cool feature about this thing is that the head of the stand has a friction mount built in. So if you don't want to be carrying another ball head or another attachment for your light or other gear, you simply just point the light where it needs to go and you're done. I would say the only downside to this thing is that the weight capacity isn't a lot. You're not gonna be putting a 300D from Aperture on top of this thing, but for a super compact lightweight stand that is built really well and is great for travel, I don't think you're gonna beat this thing. Our next item is awesome if you have a Rode Wireless Go kit. In short, this is a charging case that you take your Rode Wireless Go's, plug them in, and it starts charging. But that's not all. It actually can close and securely be stored while charging, has a battery level indicator on the front, but also can be used as a USB battery to charge your phone or other devices on the back. The case can charge your whole Rode Wireless Go kit multiple times before it needs to be recharged and it's just a really nice convenient way to store your Rode Wireless Go kit. Similar to that last item, this is a camera battery charging case with some really interesting tricks up its sleeve. So it comes with two batteries. There are versions with Sony batteries, Canon batteries, and others. In short, you plug your two batteries into this case. You can then close it for storage and keeping everything secure charge the batteries via the two USB options on the side or using the USB output on the side, you can just use this as a USB battery. So I love this because you can take those camera batteries that are just floating around your bag and convert them into usable power for other devices. There's small LED lights on the front letting you know the status of your charge and even a little SD card holder if you wanna use it. It's also kind of a nice bonus that it comes with two extra batteries for your camera. And last but not least, our final item under $50 is a lens of all things, and it is the Olympus OM 50 millimeter F1.8. You can find this easily on eBay for $50 or less, and it's a lens that is easily adaptable to just about any camera, adds a little bit of character, and if you've never shot with a vintage lens on a digital camera, you should definitely get some, and this would be a great one to start with. So that wraps up this list. You can find links to everything in the description. Check out my camera guides and LUTs if you wanna support the channel and learn more about how to shoot great video on your camera. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we will see you in the next video.